Welcome to Heart of a Shepherd. As we continue our study now in the New Testament, our scripture reading today is taken from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 2 and chapter 3. Now, this will be the first of two daily devotional videos. The first one, coming from Matthew, chapter 2, is titled, Men of Persia, Your Ancestors Were the Wisest of Men. I do want to invite you to open your Bible with me to the Gospel of Matthew chapter 2. Well, Matthew 2 brings us to a fascinating event in antiquity. We read in chapter 2 and verse 1 of the journey of wise men from the east who came to Jerusalem. And they inquired in verse 2, Where? Where is he that is born king of the Jews? Well, let's look at Matthew chapter 2. Now, four centuries of turmoil preceded the birth of Jesus Christ, and the believing Jews waited 400 years for the prophecies of a coming Messiah to be fulfilled. Now, as a nation, Israel was not at peace. Malachi prophesied Israel would suffer God's judgment for breaking their covenant with the Lord, and the Jews experienced the assault of Greece, followed by the invasion of Rome's armies. Self-appointed messiahs came and went, and Rome crushed Jewish rebels as swiftly as they began. Taxations and the idolatrous ways of Rome oppressed Israel. And still the Jews waited. They waited for their Messiah, and they hoped for a Savior, a leader who would cast off Rome's tyranny and revive Israel's glory years as a kingdom. Israel looked, waited, and they longed for a Messiah King when Jesus Christ was born. Consider then with me the inquiry of the wise men who sought Christ. Now that's recorded in Matthew chapter 2 and verses 1 through 8. We read in verse 1, Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem. Now, Bethlehem of Judea had been the birthplace of King David and the city where Micah prophesied the Christ child would be born. And so Joseph and Mary, both of whom were David's lineage, obeyed the decree of Caesar Augustus and they journeyed to Bethlehem to be taxed. Now, that was recorded in Luke chapter 2. They arrived in Bethlehem and the couple took shelter in a stable and we read in Luke chapter 2 and verse 6 and 7, and There Mary gave birth to her son, whom Joseph named Jesus. Weeks, months, and likely as many as two years passed before wise men from the east arrived in Jerusalem. Now those wise men were probably accompanied by a grand caravan of soldiers and servants. Their journey from Persia to Judea had taken months, and their approach to Jerusalem was known well before their arrival. Now, the presence of a powerful company of Persians seeking an infant whom they said was, quote, born king of the Jews, it troubled Herod and all Jerusalem. Now, we know from history that Herod was a puppet of Rome, an illegitimate monarch, and a usurper to the throne of David. He was not even Jewish. He was an Edomite, meaning he was from the line of Esau. And so he despised the Jews as much as they despised him. And he lived in constant fear of assassination, having according to history, murdered his own sons to eliminate any who might aspire to be king. Now, King Herod also feared Rome's displeasure and the threat of swift reprisal by Caesar Augustus, the Roman emperor. His role was to keep the peace by appeasing the Jews while enforcing the laws and taxations required by Rome to maintain its far-flung armies and the emperor's lavish lifestyle. 
Well, the rumor of an infant king, a legitimate heir to David's throne, was intolerable to a man like Herod. Now, after learning a prophecy foretold the birth of Christ in Bethlehem, we read that Herod dispatched the wise men to that city, and he suggested that when they found him, that is, found Christ, they would send word that he might also worship the newborn king. Well, in verses 9 through 12, we find the wise men worshiping the Christ child. We read in Matthew 2 and verse 9, And when they, that is the wise men, had heard the king, they departed, and lo, the star. And when they saw it, the east went before them, till it came and stood over the young child. In verse 10, when they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. Now, there's been much debate concerning the nature of the star that served as a guiding light for the wise men and led them from the east to the house in Bethlehem where Jesus, his mother, and Joseph lodged. Notice it was a house now, not a stable. Perhaps this star was a physical star miraculously employed by God to guide the wisest of men from the east. The star might also have been, however, the Shekinah glory of the Lord that guided them across the desert to Bethlehem. Nevertheless, the star, whatever its nature, led the wise men to Jesus. And when they were coming to the house, they saw the young child with Mary his mother. And we read in verse 11, and they fell down and they worshipped him. Now, each of their offerings was worthy of a king and carried significant meaning. meaning. They, we read, presented unto him, unto Jesus, gifts. Gold, a gift fitting of royalty. A frankincense, an incense that was used in the temple for sacrifices. And myrrh, a fragrance used in embalming and anointing the body of the dead. Now, those gifts symbolize Christ's royalty as heir to the throne of David. His sacrifice is the Lamb of God, and then finally, his death and burial. Verses 13 through 18, we have Joseph's flight to Egypt and Herod's genocide. Now, we read then, soon after the wise men departed, Joseph took his young family and fled to Egypt until they received the news that King Herod was dead. Well, a closing thought for this first of two dev devotional videos today. Understand this. Long before Muhammad in the clash of cultures and religions that he introduced, there were wise men of Persia who understood a prophecy that a king of the Jews would be born. I wonder... I wonder if this knowledge of Hebrew prophecies was passed down from the prophet Daniel for those wise men read in the heavens the birth announcement of the king of the Jews. Well, friend, the wisest of men still seek Jesus and come to worship him. I true, that might be said of you. I do want to invite you to subscribe to heartofashepherd.com and there you'll see the written version of today's devotional Bible study and also questions to ponder and consider to encourage you to dig a little deeper in the Scriptures. Well, thank you for being a part of A Heart of a Shepherd and look for the second video after this. God bless you and bye-bye.